Physicists from Rice University, led by Ming Yi and Emilia Morasan, have developed a new material that could revolutionize the future of electronics. The material is called a Kramer's nodal line metal and has unique electronic properties that could make devices more powerful while using much less energy. It all started by adding a small amount of indium to a crystal structure made of tantalum and sulfur. This tiny change altered the crystal's internal symmetry and unlocked new ways for electrons to move. The study was published on May 29th in Nature Communications and marks a huge step toward more sustainable and efficient electronic technologies. Using advanced tools like spin-resolved photo-emission spectroscopy and magnetic field testing, the team measured the energy, motion and spin of the electrons. According to doctoral student Yichen Zhang, they can tune the material's topological features, making it perfect for future applications. They also ran complex theoretical calculations, which matched perfectly with the experimental data. The team now has a better understanding of how this Kramer's nodal line metal works, opening doors for quantum physics and low-energy technologies. What makes it even more exciting is that the material shows superconducting properties, meaning it can conduct electricity without losing energy, ideal for advanced computing. As co-author Junichiro Kono said, this work represents the innovative spirit of the Smalley Curl Institute, where physics, engineering, and materials science come together. And this is just the beginning. The team plans to explore even more materials that may change the game in technology and science. This is Atlas Pro News.